Good evening. We are so glad you joined us for Christmas Lane. Tonight, our community, our after school program, and our church have all come together to share with you what we believe is the real meaning of Christmas. Our first stop is to hear some carols. Nothing puts us in the mood for Christmas like good Christmas carols. So take it away, singers. Wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Next, we have what a typical American family on Christmas morning might look like, complete with a beautiful tree, gifts, lights, and even elves. Before we go on, can we all acknowledge that 2020 has been a tough year? If there ever has been a year that we need Christmas, it sure feels like now. We need joy to the world, peace on earth, and goodwill to all. We need the hope of the baby found in the manger. We need someone to save us. In what follows in Christmas Lane, we believe you can find joy, hope, and peace, regardless of what may be going on around us or even in us. Come on, Christmas. We sure need you now. It all started with a teenage girl over 2,000 years ago. The angel Gabriel surprised Mary and said, The Lord is with you, for you are greatly favored. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have favor with God. You will give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be the son of the Most High, a great king who will reign forever. I don't understand. How can this be? I'm only 15, and I'm still a virgin. How can I give birth to a child? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. The Holy One to be born within you will be called the Son of God, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant. May it be with me just as you have said. Young Mary was engaged to Joseph when she got this news. Joseph soon learned of her pregnancy and planned to break off the marriage. But God he had other plans. He sent an angel to speak to Joseph in a dream and told him Mary's pregnancy was God's doing. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel commanded. He took Mary as his wife. God was moving many pieces during this time to bring about his glorious plan and fulfill what was predicted about Jesus. Not long after Mary and Joseph heard of God's plan for them, the Roman emperor, Caesar Augustus, issued a decree to all the known world. Hear ye, hear ye. By order of royal decree, our governor of Syria, Quirinius, has commanded a census be taken. Everyone must be registered and go to their fam family's hometown. So Joseph and Mary left Nazareth for the 90 mile journey to Bethlehem, the town of David. This 90 mile journey took Joseph and pregnant Mary about a week. When they finally made it to the little town of Bethlehem, they were worn and weary and desperate to find a place to stay. But the city was overcrowded because of the census. 
sir. My wife and I have been traveling for a week. She's about to have a baby. Do you have any room for us? I'm sorry, but there is no room in the inn. With the census in town, we've been booked for days. Oh, please. Anything will do. Can you not see that she's about to have a baby? The best I can do would be staying in the stable. That's where I keep my livestock. So if you're willing, you're more than welcome to spend the night there. Joseph accepted the offer and headed to the stable. While they were there, Mary gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger. More amazing things continue to unfold around them. Not far from town, there were shepherds camping in the nearby hills. Suddenly, God's angels stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and wonderful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in the city of David. A Messiah that is Master and Savior for all. This is what you are to look for. A baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a manger. Let's go to Bethlehem as fast as we can to see what's been revealed to us. They left, running, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child. All who heard the shepherds were impressed. What did the shepherds see that created such a stir? Did the angel really mean this baby is God in the flesh? Why would God come into our world in such a humble way? The nativity scene is special. On one side, the wise men, a very well-to-do group, were led to Jesus. On the other, the shepherds, a lowly and poor group, were led to Jesus. It's as if God is saying, no matter where you come from or who you are, the gift of Jesus is for you. This is what makes the nativity scene so powerful. It's the greatest Christmas gift ever. In it, we can find love, joy, hope, peace, and even eternal life. They recognize this. Do you? This is awesome. My name is Harv Lyon. I'm the lead pastor here at Cross Point Family Church. And it is our joy to present to you the true story of Christmas. Let me ask you a question. Are you experiencing the peace of Christmas? Have you received the free gift of salvation. This is the message of Christmas, and if we've ever needed peace, we need it today, right? God's Word says that we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, the babe born in the manger. So when the angel said to the shepherds, I bring you good news for all the people, what they were saying is for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, so that whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Think about this. The reason that God sent Jesus is so that we could be forgiven of our sins and that we might have peace with God. This is the message and this is the gift of Christmas. You can receive the gift of salvation by praying a simple prayer like this. Lord God, I've sinned and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus is your son, and I would like to make him my savior. If you would like to pray that prayer tonight before you leave, we have people next door who would love nothing more than to pray with you. I want to thank you for coming to Christmas Lane. If you don't have a home church, we warmly welcome you to Cross Point Family Church. Thank you for coming tonight. God bless you, and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Pastor Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Our next scene is our Children's Angel Choir. Our children from our After School Arts Academy program and Kids Connect program have a special song for us as we come to the end of our ride 
and our time together. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive the King. Let every heart prepare in room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. And Well, thank you, children. That was absolutely beautiful. We want to thank you for being our guest for the Christmas Lane in 2020. We hope you have enjoyed this outdoor Christmas experience. It has been our privilege to share with you the real meaning of Christmas. May God bless you and Merry Christmas. If you don't have a church home, we would warmly invite you to visit Cross Point. Our services are at 1030 every Sunday morning in person and live stream on our Facebook page. We would especially like to invite you to one of our Candlelight Christmas Eve services and they will be held December 24th at 330 or 5 p.m. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas season. Merry Christmas.